SOTC chapter one, stepping up, stepping out. First chapter, SOTC. All right. Okay, yeah. so this chapter one, what this is about, it's a it's a new perspective, maybe that you haven't seen before. Maybe some of you have, but 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 here's the deal. We're just looking for one thing that, that will that will cause us to see something in a different light so that when we're ready to step over into the spot where we're not supposed to be, we'll stop and say, yeah, you know, I don't know about that. Come back, come back over to the center. Here's the deal with Peter. Peter was in the boat in this first chapter. It's called Stepping Up and Stepping Out. He stood up with great faith. The guys in the boat, none of them stepped up. It wasn't like they were fighting to get to the edge. It wasn't like Jesus said, well, look at man, any, meeting, mighty, mo, I'll pick one of you guys. Peter was the only guy that stood up and said, if it's really you, man, call me. Now that takes, in my opinion, that takes great faith. Because to try to walk on the water, think about this. To try to walk on the water during the day, if you just started out and said, you know what, man, I'm going to walk on the water, and you start stepping out there, that takes a lot of faith. It takes a little bit more faith when you're out in the middle of the ocean to walk on the water, but you know, somebody can still throw you a line or whatever if you step out of the boat in the deep water. It takes a little bit more faith to try that at night, and it takes a lot more faith to try to step out of the boat in a dark ocean when there's a storm and there's a spook on the water because they didn't know who it was, right? That takes a tremendous amount of faith to do that. So here's, here's the part about this story that kind of got me and I didn't understand. I went over and over and looked at it, looked at it, looked at it, and I believe the Holy Spirit showed me uh, something in this story that, that was a truth that I hadn't seen that really helped me. So I, I put it in this first chapter to try to help some of you guys to remember what, what the real score is, right? So Jesus told Peter after he put him back in the boat, he said, hey man, why is your face so little? And my, my thought was, how, how could his faith be little? It's even way bigger than anybody else. I mean, compared to Jesus as it was, but, but in the natural world, it seemed like a lot, right? How can your faith be so little? So I, I went and I looked at that word, and, the, and in the Greek, the root word is only ghost, which means little in time or duration, little in length. And all of a sudden, it makes sense. Because now, when you look at that story, it's like, okay, Peter's got great faith. He rises up. The rest of these guys are crying, they're wetting their pants, they don't know what's going on, they're in a bad storm, there's spooks on the water, they don't know what's happening. Peter stands up and says, Lord, if it's you, if it's you, call me. So this tremendous faith that he had to step out of the boat only lasted a short time. But after he got out and he got close to Jesus, he looked around and he saw the storm and he sank. But let's take a quick look at what he lost. That's, I think, I think that's the whole point of the whole story. Read your Bible and you'll see that Jesus had just found out that his cousin John the Baptist was not having such a good time, man. In prison, it looked like he was going down. He was feeling kind of rough about that. So Jesus wanted to get over by himself and talk to his father or do whatever he was going to do, but he just didn't want to accompany. So he sent the disciples to go to the other side of, of the lake, Genesaret, what was about six miles across that lake. Now, if Jesus wanted to ride in the boat, man, he would have went down with the guys in the boat. It was his intent to walk across the water because he's God. He can do anything he wants. So maybe, maybe because the devil was beating up his, his, his cousin John and putting his cousin down and getting ready to chop his head off and ruining his ministry. Maybe what Jesus was saying is, hey, devil, check this out. I'm going to show you who's the creator of the world. I'm going to show you who made all this. I'm going to show you who filled this freaking ocean, man. I am going to walk across it all the way to Genesaret, six miles. And every step I take is going to be an evidence. And every step I take is going to be a reminder to you that I created all of this and your time's coming. So that's probably, I'm thinking, maybe why you wanted to walk on that water. To set things straight and to let people know who he was. And that he could do anything he wanted to do, including walking across a wet ocean for six miles. Maybe that was what was going on. But the fact of the matter is, he wanted to make a statement, he wanted to be on the water, and he wanted to walk with Dennis Red. Man, if he wanted to take a boat, he would have got in the boat. So now he's out there, and he, Peter says, hey, I want me to come to you, Jesus. And Jesus says, okay, and here's the trick. Here's the, here, here's the thing. He says, Jesus says to Peter, air put mine which means come follow me. Now Jesus could have said, come to me. He could have said, step out, walk over here. Or he could have said a half dozen other things. But the word he used was, come follow me, erko mai. So check out what's happening here. Maybe something you've never seen. Maybe this is a perspective that you need that's really gonna help you because it helped me. What he was saying was, hey Peter, because you have faith, because you have guts, come on out of here and walk with 
me to Genesaret on this water. Come on, because it, it was his intent to walk the last three miles or he would have gotten the boat. See what, see what I'm saying? So when Peter got out of the boat, it was Jesus' intent to walk with him all the way to Genesaret on the water. So check this out. When Peter's faith failed, his great faith that only lasted a little time, Holy Ghost, when it failed and Jesus put him back in the boat, look what he missed. He could have spent three hours with the creator of the universe walking on the water with every step building his faith, each step building his faith, each step building his faith, each step getting stronger and stronger and stronger in the Lord. And instead, he summed up the ear, man, all the way to his chin, to his beard, and Jesus grabbed him and put him in the boat. He said, man, why is your faith so, so little in length, man? See, this is what happens to you. Whatever your challenge is, whatever you're trying to overcome, and you walk out in the morning, and you say, you know what? You're great. I have great faith this morning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tackle this demon that's been facing me. Whether it's, it doesn't matter if it's anger, if it's pornography, it doesn't matter if it's addiction, whatever it is. When you step out with great faith in Jesus, I have great faith in Jesus. I'm going to step out and I'm going to make a move. And the Lord's right there waiting for you. When you fail, you don't go to hell, man. You don't drown. Jesus picks you up, puts you back in the boat. But here's the deal. Now you gotta start all over again, man. You haven't gained anything. You gained nothing. Your great faith is well done. See, people without great faith, they'll just sit in the mire of their circumstance. They'll say, well, God just made me that way. I can't keep my eyes off good looking trim. I, I try, but I just can't. Because, you know, that's what God made me. They never get anywhere. They die like that. Because they never get past to that place where they can walk with Jesus and develop a relationship with, with Him, just you and Him. Because they never get past that point. So when your great faith rises up, that's what this first chapter is all about. When your great faith rises up, remember it's only going to do you some good if you if it will if it will if it will hold for more than just a short period of time. You got to get past just a short period of time. Let, let that faith stretch. Let it stretch, and you'll find yourself on a walk with Jesus, and you'll find yourself ended up someplace that you've never been before. God bless you.